Hi, this is Cherry, and I am geeking out about the first film from artist Takashi Murakami, Jellyfish Eyes. He is having a special showing here at the 8th Hotel in Los Angeles, California, downtown LA, as well as having some really cool items fans are in line to buy for the film from the animated creatures that are in it. So I'm super excited to see it. I'm super excited to do a review. It is a mad crush. There's still people outside, as well as people in line to buy merch. And there's a long line for snacks. I guess we'll be getting popcorn tonight. This is Cherry. So I had a great time at the screening. Sadly, I didn't get a chance to interview the artist, the director, the man. But I did come away with a hand-signed autograph. So believe me, that made up for it a lot. But I will be getting a Q&A in the next couple of weeks, so get ready for that. So I got a chance to see Jellyfish Eyes, and I found it very charming. You might have a hard time seeing it. I don't think it's going to be in ride release quite yet. But if you love um, Yu-Gi-Oh! and all those other uh, Digimon, monsters fighting, and children having a good time, and having a bit of an adventure, then you're going to enjoy Jellyfish Eyes. Not simply because of the story about friendship, and kids growing up, and monstrous, cute, fuzzy creatures, but also because the animation is great. You can see his artwork come to life in 3D live costume creatures, as well as the animated. So this is Cherry. Had a great time with Jellyfish Eyes. Recommend you see it when you get a chance. Check out the art, check out the man, and check out me, because you are geeking out with Cherry. So as you can see, I got a autograph from the artist himself after the screening, which I found very charming. It is, as I said before, a live action Yu-Gi-Oh! or um, any of those other animated shows where children have uh, digital friends that they fight with, like Digimon. So let's take a quick look at the book. So you can see a little bit more of the images. It was really dark in the theater, so sadly my photos and videos did not turn out quite as well as I would have liked. But these are some of the kids who were in the film. This is the star with his little friend, who is super cute. He calls him a little jellyfish boy. And his name is Mushashi Kusakabi. Uh, his little love interest slash friend, Saki Amimiya. Her friend is named Lun, L Luther. 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 And he's super cute. He's like a super fuzzy, ginormous little dog. So I adored it immediately. And then some of the other kids who are like children, namely naughty and mischievous and um, well naughty you know kids are the world over and their friends who vary from cute to kind of scary to little monkeys and some other adult figures is Naoto Kozuka, who plays his sister's brother, which would make him his uncle. He has no friend because friends are only for children. Um, after the screening, I think that they are already in talks of making a sequel because uh, they showed a little snippet of what they would like to make if they do make a sequel. Oh, the villains, I guess 
are the black cloaked for three men and one young woman who reminded me a lot of villains from um, um, all the other foreign movies I've ever seen. Just very um, big eyed and just super crazy and exaggerated. Uh, this is his mother, who's played by y Yasuko Kusakabe. And this is his love interest mother, Shizuko Ami Mia. His father, who was shown in flashbacks, is Tatsuo Kusukabi and Toshida is the minister who plays a fairly large role in the film because her his mother the love interest's mother belongs to I guess it's a cult some sort of religion where they feel that the um, uh, business is up to no good and they're trying to pray it away which never really works um, and here are just a few shots, close-ups, of the critters from good to bad and ugly. But of course, just because they're ugly doesn't mean they're bad. Some of the creatures who are not very cute turned out to be very nice little creatures. And some of the creatures that we didn't really get a lot of face time with. but are very interesting, are very much in his style. He is a very quirky artist who has a mischievous sense of whimsy when it comes to the creatures he creates. And they're not always what Americans would consider to be cute or friendly or fuzzy. They come from his imagination. His imagination isn't a dark imagination. Instead, it's a very odd imagination a mixture of creatures based on animals and, and um, fish and birds, as well as based on what looks like inanimated objects, like this little screw top thing, and machinery, as well as just creatures that just come straight out of his head that, you know, no one's ever seen before, like this thing. Some of them look like dinosaurs. Some of them look like zombies. Some of them look like bats. Some of them look like little weird ghosty things. Some of them walk, some of them roll. They're all very fascinating, and I would love to chat with them to find out in the future. I will hopefully get a Q&A with him with questions sent back about how he transitioned from being an artist, how he got the idea for the film, how his um, creatures come from his imagination, what influences him, and generally how he came up with Jellyfish Eyes, which is a very quirky, amusing little film that if it comes to your town, you have to go see it with your kids. And if you don't have kids, go see it by yourself because I went to see it with an audience. It must have been 99.9% .9 adults, fans of Mr. Takashi Murakami. So this is Cherry. I'm geeking out over jellyfish eyes and meeting the artist and seeing this giant creature in person. He was there and he was there. So it was very much a fun event. If you're in LA, sign up for events at the Ace Theater. I've never seen a movie cinema quite like that. It's very gothic, very interesting. But this is Cherry. I'm geeking out and I'm looking forward to geeking out with you in the future.